Welcome to my first vegetable garden. Today I want to show you how to set up your raised bed now that it's spring. Today's the 25th. We're going to have our warm weather. I'm not going to have to worry about significant freezes or anything like that. You can see that the level of the soil in here is a little bit low. I'd like it to be more like this one over here. And I also want to freshen it up for my spring planting. So I'm just going to drop in two bags of a humus and manure. That was about 250 a bag. And that's a 0 0.15, 0 0.15, 0 0.15 NP and K. Just a nice organic manure content to feed your plants. I'm also going to show you how to drop in some uh, transplant, uh, broccoli transplants. Basic premium topsoil. That's a mix of dirt and peat moss. And I think that was about $2.09. You don't need to go and buy fancy bagged products that cost seven eight dollars a bag you can buy the lower grade bags and just mix it together yourself i mean the bigger bags you're basically paying just a lot of money for them just rolling in wood really shredded wood and you don't need to do that also going to set it up organically with an organic fertilizer uh, i'll show you how to do that but it's a quick setup and we're going to get the broccoli in so this bed is four by four so it's 16 square feet and the directions say mix uh really three pounds in 50 square feet. So four times four is 16, 16 times three is 48. So this really is saying put in about a pound of this product into this space. And you can follow the instructions, I do recommend it, but you also don't need as much fertilizer if it's organic or processed than you might think. And this is how I really do it. Reach into the bag, grab a handful. You just wanna make sure you're not using more than you need. And I just sprinkle about four handfuls down. I already put down two. I'm gonna put the manure and uh, humus on top of this, the, to uh, the topsoil, turn it under, and that's gonna really set my bed up. I'm, put I'm putting the organic fertilizer down lower into the root system. And I just wanna point out, it says to use this product with compost, uh, with peat moss, or organic garden soil. So we're building our own soil. That's gonna save us money. But compost is really the key. You don't need to be worrying about, are you 100% organic? I don't think you should be 100% anything ever. I'm about 90% organic. I'm gonna set these beds up organically, but if I wanna use a processed or chemical fertilizer at some point, it's perfectly safe, no matter what people tell you. Chemical fertilizers do not poison your plants, they do not poison you, and they do not destroy your soil if you use it in a sensible way. And I'll be talking about that through this series. Here's what your composted manure and humus look like. You have to get in there by hand, wear gloves if you want, and just break it all up. But I'm gonna spread this out across the top, turn it over, and we'll get to planting. Also back there is lemon balm. But when I put the shovel in, I heard a squeaking. There's a family of field mice living in there. You can see the fur and it's moving around. So I'm just gonna leave that alone and let them do their thing in there. But you'd wanna clear out all the, all the uh, weeds, growth that you don't want, and just start with a nice turn bed when you get to the broccoli. And that's what two bags of composted manure looks like spread out through a four by four foot plot. And again, I wanna stress fertilizer. We don't need to overdo it. I'm recommending trying to keep your garden at about a five, five, five NPK, a little bit less. We just don't need as much as we're told in the way of fertilizer. It'll save you money and it's just not necessary. The composted manure will slowly give nutrition to your plants for the growing season. The organic fertilizers will help out that's all you need to do. So I turned this side of the bed. That's where the broccoli is going to go. Last year at about a depth, maybe a foot, a little bit more, I put a lot of wood chips down there. And you can see that I turned over some of the wood chips. All that white growth is good news. That means the wood chips are being broken down. They're going to be rotting away, giving feed and fertilizer to my plants. They also hold moisture. And growing in wood chips is a great way to have a garden. However, the caveat, is first year wood chips, second year wood chips are still decaying. They can pull nitrogen from your garden, so growth is difficult. So if you're setting up a wood chip based garden, keep in mind that it's gonna compete with the nitrogen for your plants. However, this has been taken care of. Now, if you didn't have wood chips, or you're just getting started, you could also put in a bunch of shovelfuls of peat moss in here, bring up the organic matter. If you have your own compost, add some compost in. But this is a, a great, nice loose soil that's gonna be perfect for the broccoli plants, so let's get to that. Now I dropped four plants in. I'm doing this with uh, one hand because I actually forgot the uh, piece that attaches this to my tripod. So I gotta shoot in one hand, plant in the other hand. But again, this is a 3-4-4 organic fertilizer. 
you don't need anything crazy. Handful, half a handful in a planting hole. You know, that might be a tablespoon or two. Just read the instructions. Mix it into the bottom. You never want to put roots directly on any kind of fertilizer. Mix it in well. And let's see if I can do this. And you're just going to drop it right in to a depth almost level with what it was at when it was planted. Just like that. You can come up the stem a little bit. And then you would do the same thing for this plant. I mean, it's not difficult. Drop the soil around. Water this in really well after you're done. And that's six broccoli plants from Transplants. Now these are hybrids. Hybrids are perfectly fine to use. They usually have some sort of benefit, like these will produce in 55 to 60 days, which is perfect because my warm weather rolls in pretty fast once spring starts coming. And you don't want your broccoli or even your cauliflower to get, sort of get to size headwise and then the heat rolls in because that head of broccoli or that head of cauliflower that you want will uh, start to bolt and it starts to flower and you lose that, you know, you, you basically lose your broccoli to it flowering. I get rabbits, so those are, I think they were like dish rack drains or something like that. I pick them up at thrift stores, so I go into thrift stores, look around for anything that I can put over my plants to protect them from rabbits, and that seems to work really well. And they were like a buck each when I found them. So I'll cover this up with my protection to keep the rabbits off of them. Also put down some mulch, but this is a basic way to set up your raised bed for spring planting. This is how you get in broccoli and you're pretty much good to go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my garden seed shop at www.therustagarden.blogspot.com. Thanks.